Hey everyone, today we will be taking a look at the newest update to the Pure Nexus custom ROM released on January 6th. This version of the ROM by Beanstown108 supports the Nexus 6, 5X, 6P, and Google Pixel devices. The update runs Android 7.1.1 and adds several new features and fixes on top of the last update. Let's get into the review. Okay, so one of the biggest features in this update would be that Google Assistant is now enabled by default when you flash this ROM. Before, you would have to either manually edit some system files or use an app called Git Assistant to get it, but if you flash this ROM, it does it all for you, so you will not need to take any extra steps or go out of your way to enable Google Assistant. It'll be just like you have it on a Pixel device for the most part. And as you can see now, I can just long press on the home button and it works right there. Except it does say can't reach Google at the moment, but I believe that is just a glitch with my internet. No big deal. Okay, so the next added feature would be an option in your settings. It is under Pure Nexus settings, navigation bar. So here you have some options. For example, you have the option to enable or disable your navigation bar. You can actually disable it completely. I don't know why you'd want to do that because then you can't really use your phone very well, but hey, you can do that if you want. Some people didn't want to have the animation, the little pixel um, animation down on the bottom. So now you have the option to disable that. So as you can see, it looks like you have to reboot your phone if you want to disable that. Okay, so the next thing is a relatively big thing, I think, I guess. So as you, as you may or may not know, with the release of the new Pixel devices this year, or last year now, Google added new new sounds. There's new notification sounds, new alarm sounds, new ringtones, all that kind of stuff. So that all got added, and you do not need to have a Pixel device to have that. So you want to go in sound in your settings. See, under phone ringtone, there should be a lot more new ones. I believe this one is new. Sounds kind of weird. There's some other ones. No, that's an old one. That's a new ringtone. So yeah, th there's a few new things in there, a few new ringtones that you didn't have before. Okay, so here's a new notification sound. That is a new one. This is also a new one. There's a few new ones in there. There's more than that. I'm just going through a, a couple. So it doesn't take up too much time. Yep. All right, so now for alarms, there's some new alarm ones. I believe this one is new. This one's new, and this one sounds kind of weird, but you know, if if you're into that sound. Okay, so under the Pure Nexus settings, there's another new feature that has been added. It's called Battery Bar, and that will be under your status bar options here and under Battery Settings at the top. There's an option for this whole section for Battery Bar. Now what this is, if I were to turn it on, I could say, say I want to put it on the status bar. So as you can see at the top, there is a little white bar and that shows me my battery percentage. Of course, you can change this to all different colors, whatever color you want. Okay, so back under Pure Nexus settings, there's, there's also some more settings for your navigation bar. So you could go to navigation bar and you have a, something at the bottom here, it says, nav bar dimensions so this is if you really want to customize you can change the width and the, and or the width and the height of the navigation bar to however you want it there's another new setting here under display so if we go to display you'll see under the wake on plug setting it should say three finger screenshot so if I turn this on if you swipe three fingers across the screen like I just did right there it will save a screenshot of my screen instead of having to press any buttons or do anything. You can just take a bunch of screenshots. So the next thing is actually really cool. If you haven't noticed yet, I have a different wallpaper. And that is because you get all the Google Pixel live wallpapers and stuff like that in this update, which I found them, I really like them so far. I've been using this one for a few days since I updated 
and I really like it. So if you go in wallpapers, you can see under live data, there's a few different things here. Um, I This one is called Aurora Time Lapse, I guess. So towards the bottom, it'll say, watch your day unfold in beautiful gradients as time lapse reacts to time and weather conditions. So basically what it's saying is that it'll be brighter or a different color if it's a sunny day outside. If it's dark and rainy, it'll probably be more gray and dark. And depending on the time of day, it will could change from a sunset color to a sunrise color to a kind of sort of a blue sky color if it's a clear day in the middle of the day. So it'll change and stuff like that, and I like it a lot. I've been using it for a while now, and I think it's nice. Um, I can't tell. There might be some other new wallpapers in here too, like normal static wallpapers. And of course, all these are new as well. Alright, so now on to the bugs, fixes, etc. part of the review. So, first of all, there is a very, very big bug in this, which almost kept me from updating to it, but I found out an easy way to get around it, which I will tell you about. So, say if you want to turn off your phone. Everything looks good, you hold down the power button, and you see power off and reboot. So, say, I'm going to do this slowly, so you can see that I am tapping on power off. It brings up the reboot menu. If I want to do a full reboot, soft reboot, recovery, or boot into the bootloader, all that kind of stuff, it doesn't give me an option to turn off my phone. The developer, Beanstown108, has acknowledged this, and he says it'll be fixed in the next update. It's a very simple thing, but it just slipped past him somehow. So what I did to combat this, which, which is assuming that you are rooted, you can install an app like this. It's called... Quick reboot. So all you need to do is go to your Play Store and search search something like power off. Something like that. And you can see there's there's just simple off buttons. This one down here is really good, quick reboot. That's the one I use. And I installed that. Once that's installed, you can go in here. It'll give you an option to power off your phone, reboot your phone, to reboot into the recovery, pretty much the same as this except you can actually re or power off your phone and that's what I've been using it's not really a big deal if you just download that application and as I said it'll be fixed in the next update which will probably come out next month now there is another fix supposedly in this update people in the last version were having issues with OK Google detection anywhere not working here's the issue people were having if you go to OK Google detection under the Google app settings you can see the option say OK Google anytime. When you tap it, I hope you can see that right now, it, it won't allow me to change that option right there. And that that is a bug. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that, but apparently a lot of people have been having this issue. With this new update, it's supposed to fix that. In some cases, it will fix that. Some people still have that issue, but there are a lot of people saying that they got it to work this time. I'm still having the issue where it won't turn on, but some people have got it to work. So I did want to point that out. Some of the biggest bugs, kind of sketchy things that I've found so far. Otherwise, the ROM runs amazing. So this about wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching, and make sure to go to the Pure Nexus XTA post in the description. I'll see you in the next one.